This one called The Price of Beauty. The world we live in is blind to the face of true beauty. Billions of dollars spent each year on cosmetics to perfect this mask that hides the epitome of what beauty is truly. The media plants into your mind that if you don't fit this particular mold that you're unattractive. And from that seed grows your insecurity. But what you need to do is be more of who you are, less of who they want you to be. And stop letting those four walls confine you. And start thinking outside the box of your computer screens and TV. And it's hard to buy into the idea of self when society sells you the same generic Photoshop portrait of what you need to be. But don't you dare conform your form to the norm trying to keep up or compete with the world's image of beauty because that's in the eye of the beholder. So when you look into your reflection, you better be in love with the person that you see. They force out the ability to appreciate your natural appearance. Then advertise products to replace that very thing that you already possess. All this Mac, CoverGirl, and Maybelline seems to only cover girls and make believe to blend in with other girls with the hopes they may be seen in the same light as those digitally remastered slaves on the covers of magazines beat down your self esteem and save this dream that you can't have success unless you look and dress like all the rest cause nowadays everyone follow trends no one wants to be the one who trend sets because being yourself is a hard pill to digest the price of beauty has driven our queens to seek validation through infantile and material means. The same way, way back when, the concept of being cool and being seen brainwashed our men. So putting that $700 27-inch Brazilian weave on the head of a woman who barely knows her own worth is the equivalent of putting a $100 car on $10,000 rims. The games they play are a shame. They commercialize the creation of clothes by using celebrities' influence and fame to strengthen their aim. Tell you that she looks good and you don't. And naturally you want to look the same, so you go by the same thing, believing that all this makeup will make up for this made up face of acceptance and beauty is its name. Your eyes wide shut to the lies that they tell you so you can't see they make a mirror your best friend and worst enemy. Take your identity, offer you a costume you possibly could attain for the right price because this thing called beauty is expensive to maintain. They break down and pinpoint all your flaws just to build you back up with a conditional foundation of what you could be. Blind you with repetitive visions of store-bought beauty tell you that who you are isn't good enough. And this is what you should be. Make you believe the essence of being attractive can only be appreciated if you accept it by the in crowd. And if you change yourself to this, you would be. That's why they gauge the standard of beauty by Barbie dolls. Critique everything from the way your lips and nose are shaped to the way your curves should be. That's why when people go under the knife they call it plastic surgery. Willing to do anything for attention. Even if it comes at your health sake. So I ask you. How can you ever be a real beauty striving to look like something that's fake? Every day it's a new face. So unfamiliar with a picture of self, you get lost in the wrong perception. Trying to find your way to being flawless when at best you will only be flawed less. Realize the last time anyone ever saw perfection was the moment of conception and pieces of adolescence. The internet powers this machine to manufacture depression with Facebook and Instagram by making online reputations and the want for real life admiration compete. And every time someone likes and double taps, that connection is complete. And I know it's complicated to consciously comprehend the subconscious correlation between the way you look and how you feel, but the answer lies in how you play the hand, not the face value of the cards you were dealt. Fighting for the false following of popularity, but it's yourself that you're battling. So close your eyes to the comfort of everyday duality and open your eyes to the real prize in achieving individuality. So before you pose for this proposed photo of perfection, improve the focus, getting the right frame of mind. So when the cameras flash, you won't expose all the holes inside your soul and zoom in on how you honestly value your materialistic quantity over your realistic quality. They sell you ugly lies for high than buy your beautiful truth for cheap. So what are you willing to pay for the price of beauty? Whatever it is, I just hope you keep the receipt. Price of beauty. Something like.